Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode of Shop Talk, we're going to be taking a look at using infrared devices in measuring the, uh, the heated bed of your 3D printer. Now, one of the pieces um, in the last episode I did where I shared the heating profile, the thermal profile of this uh, Creality CRT, CR10 bed, um, there was a bit of discussion about, hey, you can't measure aluminum with or this semi-shiny aluminum with infrared devices. Now, I take a little bit of issue with that, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in, and we're going to do some measurements. So I've got uh, some temperature probes set up over here, uh, measuring it. And one of the things, uh, you notice how close these are um, in, in 19 and 20. So basically, these are the same temperature cold. When I jump over to start doing the test, I've already heated the bed up, and I want you to notice um, that that there is you know pretty close uniformity in this because one of the things you'll see in the actual video is there's quite a bit of difference between the front and back of the bed because here we have the front sensor up here, the back sensor in the cold bed, it's about roughly the same 19.9 uh, 19 .9 versus 20 degrees, 0.1 degrees difference between front and back. Uh, also, we're going to be using this um, uh, infrared thermometer, uh, make sure I get it in frame here, as well as the FLIR camera. So I'm going to activate the FLIR camera, so uh, set it up so it doesn't fall asleep, and then let's hop over into the video. And so the, it doesn't go to sleep on me. And what I have is I've got the plain bed uh, set up here. I've got two thermocouplers, one in the front, one in the back. Uh, and here's my measurements. So this is the front, this is the back. So this is about a four degree, five degree difference, about four degree difference between the front and the back on this. Now, one of the things, the, um, the bed is set to 72 degrees. Now, I'm reading a bit uh, below that on the thermocouplers. And, and part of this is I have them taped down and they're not coming into in, and they're, while well, they're pressed on, the bed they're not coming into huge contact with the bed if you know what i mean surface area wise so this is about the best i can get and so the biggest thing is i want to get is sort of a uniformity here now the other thing is as you can see i've got the FLIR camera going uh recording video and you can see in the um the open area i'm reading about uh, 76 point or now it's about 75.9, so roughly about 75 to 76 degrees C. Now, one of the things that I want to do is I'm going to roll this over to the blue tape area. And I'm going to have to change my glasses, I think, to see this one. Because again, this is white on uh, light is pretty difficult to see. Um, I think this is reading 78 if I can see it right. It'd be a little bit better in post-production if I can zoom in on it. So here it's about 75, 70, let's say 76 degrees. I'm going to roll it back. And I think that's saying 78 degrees. So I'm showing about a two degree difference between the shiny bed and the unshiny blue tape piece. Now, part of this um, could be the fact that this is insulating a little bit and collecting a little bit more heat. Now, one of the other things I want to do is I have this um, uh, IR thermometer. So let's go ahead. So now I'm going to measure the silver part of the bed. And I have 69 point, whoops, get it down here. So I'm showing about 69.3 degrees. So let's go ahead and read this side. And I've got 69.5, whoops, get it down here, 69.5 degrees. Whoops, get my fingers out of the way. So 69.5. So I'm only about 0.2 degrees difference between the shiny bed and the blue tape. Now, one of the things in the thread, the discussion was that you can't take a reading off, um, you know, the, the silver to aluminum. I, I, to a little bit, I, I agree with that to a very, very little bit, but I think in general, that's not completely always the case. Because number one, this is a fairly matte finish, if not shiny. 
and also the frequency of this uh, coming off here into the FLIR camera is a far infrared and this is what we're really looking at um, you know so it's a very very long wavelength light now we can tell here again we're at about 65 so we're showing a five degree difference between front and back of that bed so we could easily have a couple degree difference between these two areas also um, but again I, and again I've had pretty good luck with this IR thermometer. So let's do this again. So I've got, again, pretty repeatable. Get it down here. 69.3. And I think that's pretty much what I had last time. And I got about 68.8. So now it's a little, yeah, get it down here. It's a little bit cooler. So I think all in all, um, I don't think measuring this this uh, silver background is a huge problem with either this or the FLIR camera itself. Now, what the actual temperature is can be a little bit different story because I believe all these to be sort of correct because one of the pieces is, again, the way that this is being connected to the bed because if I push this down, if I push this heater down and burn my finger a little bit, um, you can see, so, so this is one, yeah, the front is one, the back is two. So you see, if I push this down and have it make a little bit more contact with the bed, out, oh, it gets hot, it goes up. And the same would be true, you know, probably if I use something other than my finger to press it down. But it, the amount of area that this is coming, both the thermal couplers are coming into contact is really a bit of the difference from 72 because the uh, coupler for the sensor uh, that goes over to the controller is obviously up inside the bed and very localized to the center of the heat signature here. But I still think that, um, again, this is very effective from a measurement standpoint, if you will. So again, I want to take a look at the FLIR. Let's go back to the floor image and I gotta change my glasses again. But if I come over here, I'm running about 76 degrees. And I really wish I could change that. And it still looks like about 78 or so. So I'm like a degree and a half difference and you can see that just in from the front and back here that I have five degrees difference on the bed. So again, I, I find it very plausible that I could be uh, a couple degrees off and just moving over. So anyways, uh, this guy, this is why guys, I, I struggle with the fact in that thread that you're saying we can't measure this. Now, obviously I think one of the pieces, uh, you can again see in the FLIR image, let me get my fat finger in there. So this obviously appears brighter than this. Um, you know, so there is a difference in reflection of IR. That's why I say I agree with you a little bit, but if I was going to do sort of like an absolute temperature measurement, I might agree more. But one of the pieces that we really wanted to see here was the heat distribution. Now, one of the pieces, you'll notice that the tape here and here that's holding this down is also the same color as the tape over here. And I think part of this is, is there's going to be some insulative factor in that tape uh, where it's going to sink some of the heat and there is going to be definitely a different heat signature because if I remove this tape over here, I think I'll get the same similar image as I'm getting right here. So anyways, guys, if you're using a FLIR, I think it's okay in this. Um, again, this one has gone to sleep. So I can't think of any other ways to measure this. All these are, are, are fairly close. And, and again, with the, t with the difference here, I, I'm pretty much attributing that to, again, its connection to the bed, that it's still a little bit up. And you can see this guy here, that they're rising. You know, this one's getting uh, a little bit closer to the 70 degree mark. So, and, and again, you see the delta. So anyways, I uh, wanted to share this with you guys. If you have a FLIR or you have an infrared thermometer like this one, Again, you know, what, what can you, you know, sort of trust? We'll just give it one more go here. So, again, I'm running 
roughly 68.9. You can see that there is 68.9. And then go over here. And I'm running about 69.8, so about a degree difference. Not, not a, oops, get it down here in the frame. So not a huge difference. So um, again, I think this pretty much shares how this all works and uh, you know how you can measure it with a FLIR and what you can expect for tolerances and results. So anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. And hit me in the comments below. Again, love the discussion. Uh, subscribe button is going to be coming up over there. Swag shop up there. And hey, we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.